Every year about one million people walk the doors of that building over there, often passing by or through this arch behind me. It's here in New York and I'm here at the Grand Army Plaza in Brooklyn, catty corner to the central branch of the Brooklyn Public Library. This elliptical plaza was part of Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vox's plans for Prospect Park. Uh, Olmsted and Vox were, of course, also responsible for Central Park. To separate the park from the streets, allowing for a bit of quietude in, the pro in Prospect Park. And today it forms the largest traffic circle in the borough, bringing together the Eastern Parkway, Prospect Park West, Union Street, and Flatbush and Vanderbilt Avenues. This 1867 plaza is made even more monumental by the Soldiers and Sailors Arch, completed in 1892 in honor of Civil War veterans. Several fountains were put in place from the 1860s to the 1930s, in between which ground was broken for the Central Library in 1912. The library's original design by Raymond Almeral called for a four-story dome building, but the Great Depression left the building incomplete. New architects were brought in to redesign the building, taking away much of the ornamentation and eliminating the entire fourth floor. Construction recommenced on what went from being a Beaux Arts building to an Art Deco building in 1938, and the building opened in 1941. Today, the 350,000 square foot building houses not, not only a million items from books, CDs, and DVDs in the circulating collection, but also memorabilia from the Brooklyn Dodgers and research collections such as the historic Daily Eagle from 1841 to 1902. Additionally, the building offers such services as passport processing and plays host to lectures and concerts and is on the regular homes of the Brooklyn Philharmonic. By the way, just a quick tip, the cafe in the library has really awesome brownies. 